Do you have recurring tasks that you want to automate within monday.com? Let me show you two ways that you can easily do this. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. The first way that you can set up the automatic creation of reoccurring tasks is on a specific board. So here we're going to work on the task board and I can go to the automation center and I'm going to choose a custom automation. So I'm just going to click add new automation. Now the trigger for this to happen is every time period. So I'm going to just type in here every time period. And now I have an option to choose, do I want to create a task daily, weekly, or monthly? So for this example, I'm going to change it monthly, but realize that you can do it at really any interval. So I'm going to create a task, let's say every month on the first of the month, and I can even choose the time I am going to create an item. Now an item is essentially my task. Now for this example, I'm going to just create a monthly report, let's say for my clients because that's something that I do on a monthly basis. So I want to have that. So I'm going to assign a person. I can choose the status and whatever other information I want to choose. Now, every single month, this is going to be triggered to be created on my board. Obviously you can add as many tasks as you want here, depending on how many tasks you need to create. One of the things that I found is difficult about this setup for some people is their scenario, their automations look like this. See how many, these are how many monthly tasks I need to do. So I have a lot of tasks that are here. Now, if my clients are constantly changing or my monthly tasks are, are changing, most times I see companies come to me and they say, every time we have a client, we have these five or 10 tasks that need to be created, but we onboard new clients every month or the tasks are changing because the client wants a new service. So this is a little bit of a tricky setup because if I need to edit one, obviously you can just delete it, but I have no identification of what the task is. So I would need to open every single one and then delete it. So I recommend to do this setup if you have a, a small number of tasks that either don't need to be changed often or you really separate it out because let's say you have two tasks monthly, two tasks every week, two tasks every Thursday, whatever it is, then I would do a, a setup like this. The other option for creating um, a workflow for automating tasks would actually be to have a different board. And you would have a task, a board of recurring tasks. You can see here, I have a board. I also have automated this process from the CRM. So like as soon as a client is ready for onboarding, you can automatically create these tasks, but I'm not going to cover that now. Here you can see is that I have this recurring task board and notice that a lot of my columns are the exact same <clears throat> as the task board because the information that I'm pushing needs to match that board. Now, the crucial difference of this board is that I have a frequency column. This is just a status column where I have the different options. So I can have a task monthly, weekly, annually, however I want. And that's going to help trigger when a task is pushed to my task board. So it's essentially doing the same exact thing, just in a different way. So I'm going to go over the automation center and I have two kinds of automations. The first most important automation is when a date arrives, create an item in the task board. And obviously, again, you can edit what information you want to be. So that's how it's going to show up. So any single task on this board, whenever the date arrives, it's going to show up on my task board. You can put a hundred tasks here. If that's how many tasks happen on a monthly basis, the next part of this setup is the frequency because if I have a quarterly frequency, I don't want that task to show up every month. I want it to show up quarterly. So now remember we had a status column where each task is marked by the frequency. And then what I set up was an automation that says one day after, just cause I don't want any issues with the time, like the date arrives, but only if frequency is quarterly. So I'm qualifying this automation, then I'm going to push it by three months. And again, you can see that I have the same ones for if it's one month, 12 months, one week, could do it daily, however you want. All I did was made one automation and then I duplicated all the information to account for the different frequencies. 
So essentially what's going to happen on this board, whenever the date arrives, my task is going to be pushed to the task board. And then the date is going to be pushed based on what the frequency is. So once November 30th arrives, this task of a monthly port is going to be created on the task board. And my date is going to be pushed to December 30th. So just to review, in summary, there were two different ways that you can manage reoccurring tasks. One is that you can have it on the task board within the automations, and it's just going to automatically, based on a date, create a new task. And the second is to have a recurring task board where you have the frequency option, and it's constantly pushing tasks to the task board when the date arrives, but then it's moving the next due date based on the frequency. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.